Hey YouTube, this is American Samurai, back again with another book review for my past. Today we're taking a look at another one of Gertrude Chandler Warner's... Huh, I thought I was even looking. Uh, Boxcar Children book, this is book number 25. The Amusement Park Mystery. Henry, Jessica, Violet, and Benny used to live alone in a boxcar. Now they have a home with their grandfather and are going to visit their cousins... Joe and Alice. The chil to the children's delight, Joe and Alice live near a wonderful amusement park. The park holds everything the box of children can ask for. A beautiful merry-go-round, lots of rides and games, all the cotton candy they can eat, and a mystery. Yeah, the way the skits are done, it makes, definitely makes me think of the old pulps, but I think these are actually before that. Because I think... From the research I've done, the books happened sometimes around, somehow around 1924 when they were first published. So, yeah. Uh, overall, I actually enjoyed this story better. I think it did better. Uh, to me, this story it was better with the mystery element. I mean, there are tags into the previous books, specifically Benny's Pink Cup. If you guys aren't familiar, it actually does explain that to you in the book. Why this pink cup is so precious to Benny and everything. Um, so actually, you could probably just read this book without having read anything else, and you'll get the gist of it. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's some great stuff in the book. I think the mystery is well done. There's more of a visible threat in this one. Uh, it's just, it's the children. They're kind of, they're kind of like sort of Scooby-Doo before Scooby-Doo, except they don't, they, they have a dog, but they didn't bring him with them. Uh, yeah, it feels like something kind of right. You know, twist the setting a little bit, change a few things here and there, and this could be like a Hannibal Barris side of my cartoon, the way it's written. Which is not a bad thing. I really enjoyed it, and this was for younger readers, so... Overall, I'll give this book a 5 out of 5. If you haven't read any of the Boxcar Children books, I think number 25 is a good place to start. Yeah, you will miss out on the character of the grandfather. Um, I think added a lot to the previous book, but... Uh, this is kind of a, essentially a vacation book, like they do in some of the Cat Who stories. Um, but a little continuity continues that you'll need to know. They actually do give you in this book. So yes, I highly recommend the Boxcar Children number 25. The Amusement Park Mystery gets a 5 out of 5 from me. Let me know what your favorite childhood book series in the, is in the comments below. And who, if, you, if you can remember, who was your favorite childhood author? I think, um, though I had some Boxcar Children books, I had some Goosebumps books. A few other odds and ends. I think my favorite one was, uh, the gal who wrote Indian in the Cupboard. I remember reading a lot of her books. Lynn Reed Banks, that was her name. A particular favorite of mine was, uh, there were two, I think there are two books I've, I, well, they're audio ones I heard, but that I listened to the most when I was a kid was The Adventures of King Midas and The Mystery in the Cupboard. That was part of the Indian in the Cupboard series. That was my favorite book overall for that series. All right, let me know what your favorite book was, when, uh, series was when you were a kid and Comment below. Uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button if you think I deserve it. And hit that little bell icon. Let you know anytime Jeremy and I upload a video. We tend to do in batches. Um, so yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time on at the turn of a page. Later.